Hi, what's up? I have a question for you. If there was any player in the world you could play with, who would it be and why? So, RJ, if I could play with any player, um, who would it be and why? I mean, for me, I would want to play with – it's obvious, but for me to – I would want to play with Messi, to be yeah. honest, just because – I think his understanding and how to see him in live time of how he thinks about the game and plays the game would be incredible to see. Um, and funny enough, he's actually linked to Inter Miami, so that would be kind of cool. So we'll see. <laughs> the next one I'm going to skip over and I'll come back to it at the end because if you say anything bad, I'd end up cutting the call off. So Got it. Uh, <laughs> the next one is, was it always your dream to be on the men's national team from Emerson? Emerson. Uh, it, it's always been my dream to, to play for the men's national team ever since I, uh, the first national team game, I think I ever watched. Um, it was a, a dream of mine and, uh, I've been so fortunate that, that it's come true. Hi, Will. I have a question for you. If you weren't playing professional soccer, which career would you pick? For me, I think if I wasn't a, a soccer player, um, I would have done something in the medical field. Um, I think helping people, serving people is, is so important. Um, and, and that's something I've always been passionate about. Hi, Will. What motivates you to work harder and work on your own? Great question. Um, what motivates me? I think I've always had just an internal drive to, to improve myself, truly. Uh, I've, I've set goals, long-term goals and dreams. And I think every day I'm just, I'm trying to get one inch, one centimeter, one foot closer to those dreams. And, and, by perfecting myself or improving myself, that's, that's how I think I'll get there. Hey, well, this is Anthony Cortez, and I want to know what has been your biggest achievement since playing soccer. Anthony, tough question. Um, biggest achievement? It, it depends at, at each level. I mean, I was fortunate in high school. Um, we won a championship. I, I had some individual accolades, but I think the biggest achievement would, would be to play for my country, um, to captain my country and, in um, international games is as, as special as it's been. My name is Taylor Muir. I'm a player for Seven Lead Academy. I have a tendency to play with the ball too much on the field. I was wondering what are some ways I could play more simple and still be effective. Um, Taylor, what an interesting question. That's, that's difficult um, because the, probably the hardest thing to do in our sport is to play, play simply and to be effective. But um, I think one of the best ways to go about this is understanding positioning um, and, and giving yourself time um, by actually running less and understanding and reading the game more. Um, so by doing that, you actually see the best option, but also probably the most simple option. Um, and, and a lot of that comes from watching a lot of games on TV and, and seeing decision-making from high level players. But then when you get on, on the field, how can you give yourself time and space um, in, in creative, smart ways? Hi, Will. Just like to ask you a question. It was the toughest opponent in the Poisons. Great question. Toughest opponent. Um, I think the most difficult player to play against, we played Brazil two years ago in, um, uh, oh, my gosh, in New Jersey. And Coutinho was on my side. Uh, and that guy was just ridiculous. I mean, it was just ridiculous to, to try to mark him. It was like he would go into the ground and then pop up somewhere else. Like, he, he would just disappear. Um, so intelligent, so technical, so quick. He was, he was tough. Next one's from – this is from Thomas, who's – he's actually one of our coaches in Tanzania. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if he's trying to hire you. I don't know. Um, he said, would you consider coaching after playing? Thomas. Absolutely. It's, it's something that I think the way that I look at the game, the way I've always tried to learn more and study it um, would naturally translate into, into being a coach. And I think it will be really hard to walk away from after I'm playing, after I'm done playing to, to not be around the game anymore. And coaching is probably the best outlet for that. Hi, Will Trapp. My question for you is who was most inspirational for you on your soccer journey? And what did your coaches do that helped to motivate you to play your best? Um, Shaylee, most inspirational to me, um, I had a, a, a couple, but probably the, the most would be my grandfather who um, played his whole life. He immigrated from Greece to the United States in 1950 and was a lifelong 
uh, soccer player, soccer fan. And that was, he lived with us before he passed um, at my parents' home. So really, really close proximity and, and relationship with him. Um, so he was a huge, huge influence on me. And then I think for coaches that I've had, um, it's, it's the ones that have, have put me in the best possible position to succeed. Um, that I think I've gravitated towards most the ones that push me within that um, that role that they've given me and and put high expectations on me that I've that I found the most success with and um, and they also have shown that they care about more than just um, the on the field um, results I mean they it, truly I know that it, it's a bigger and broader relationship than um, than just a business one. And, and that has had the, the biggest effect on me. Will, how good was David Mayer really when he was playing with you? Dave, David was a, he was a very, very English left back. I'll put it that way. He loved to bomb on, loved to get forward, um, provided his assists, um, and, and did everything that you wanted from, from a, left, a left back. So I had... Um, high expectations and, and he did a great job of meeting them.